Um, I produced porn for nine years. I was a pastor's son. Um, absolutely hated the church. You know, I turned to porn because it gave me an opportunity to make a lot of money, plus throw it in the faces of the people, you know, from my past. We would recruit brand new models all the time. And these people would come in and they'd, you know, they'd be, they'd usually be college students or something. But over the course of time, you could just see them change. You know, you could just see the life kind of get sucked out of their eyes. And I'm not saying that that happens in every case, but it happens so often that, uh, that you can't escape the fact that lives are being changed for the worse. I was not only hurting the lives of the girls who were modeling for me, but I was hurting the lives of their families. I was hurting the lives of my own family. And actually, toward the end, um, there's a few things that happened. My, my little boy um, told his mom that he knew what I did for a living. And, uh, you know, I tried to act like it was no big deal, but it, it kind of, it was a big deal. You know, I have a seven-year-old child who's, well, he was six at the time, and, and he's sitting there saying, yeah, mommy, I know that daddy takes pictures of naked people for work. The reason that Triple X Church got my attention was because they would come in right into the floor of the conventions that we'd have. When you see a group of people standing around handing out Bibles and say, Jesus loves porn stars, you're sitting there thinking to yourself, well, this is what I'm thinking to myself. They're probably getting bashed by the church really hard for doing this. Why are they putting themselves through all of this? It was a lot harder to, to sit there and think, uh, you know, this is all a bunch of garbage because all of a sudden you're, you're, you're seeing what a Christian should be. You know, Triple X Church definitely raises a lot of uh, um, discussion amongst those in the industry. I mean, it, it's something that they talk about all the time. They're, they, they wonder what's going on. You know, it raises questions. It's, it's uh, discussed on the message boards, you know, in the adult industry. They, they talk about uh, the latest things that Triple X Church are doing, especially if something comes out that's, uh, you know, some new news story thing like, you know, traveling with Ron Jeremy or something like that. People, people wonder if Ron's being a sellout. And other people say, nah, he's not being a sellout. He's being a good businessman. But the point is, is that the discussion's being made and and it's getting into people's head, I'm sure, just as it did in mine. Um, the Esther Fund is really important because um, you can invite someone to leave the industry, but then you got to give them some sort of support. I went from a lifestyle where I got to do pretty much anything I wanted to do, and I had a lot of possessions, to a place where now I live in a tiny little apartment. You know, and the transition, I'm okay with it now, but the transition has been very tough. Um, I had times when I'd be crying so hard that I puked. Um, I'd have uh, days when I'm, you know, definitely drinking too much. Here I am supposed to be a Christian, and I'm, and, and you got to have someone to reach out to that's still going to hold your hand when you go through those times. September of 2006, I was uh, driving back along Interstate 5 from uh, Sacramento where Playboy has an office, a production office and they just offered us four thousand dollars a day to shoot a new lesbian series and um, I'm ecstatic you know that's a lot of money but at the same time I'm going through this inner turmoil and I just thought to myself you know what it's got to end now you know it's just got to end and so um, I basically said you know what God I'm, I'm just done with this this is it it was a it was two weeks later coming back along Interstate 5 again and uh, I just said, you know, God, I have all these questions that, that don't make any sense to me right now about, about the Bible, about Christianity, but I'm just going to trust you anyway. I gave my life to God that day. And the first thing I did, the first thing I did was I called up Triple uh, X Church and I says, I'm out. You know, this is, that's it. I'm, I'm done. I just gave my life to God. And the very next day they had one of their pastors fly out to my house and spend, spend the next three days with me, just, just kind of uh, encouraging me, driving around my area, just looking at stuff. Just, you know, we drove and we talked and we ate and we, we just basically, you know, bonded and, and, and they were basically saying, look, you know, we're for real. We're not just sitting there saying, great, you're out, you're on your own, you know. Some of the most difficult days I've ever had have been since I've become a Christian, but there's never been a desire to go back and start producing again. And despite the bad days that come, they've, they far outweigh, the peace inside now far outweighs anything that I had before. 
and it gets better every day. I mean, now I'm, I'm going through the process of enrolling in seminary. Isn't that weird? I mean, that's crazy. This, there, here's a guy who, who used to produce porn, and now he's enrolling in seminary. And, and upon completion, you know, from porn producer to pastor, what is that? You know, what else happened? I mean, that never happens. Well, it does now. I mean, through, through God, it definitely happens. And through people actually going out there and doing what he says.